If Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is not working on PC, then you are at the right place. We have got the best ways to fix the issue. Welcome back to Silicophilic, your go-to source for tech tips and fixes. Method 1. Check the system requirements. First, make sure your system fulfills the minimum requirements to run the game. Here are the minimum and recommended requirements for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Minimum requires a 64-bit processor and operating system. OS Windows 10 processor Intel Core i3-9100 or AMD Ryzen 3 3200G. Memory 16GB RAM. Graphics NVIDIA GeForce GTX 10606GB or AMD Radeon RX 588GB. DirectX version 11. Storage 90GB available space. Additional notes SSD recommended capable of 1080p 30fps when graphics are set to standard. Recommended Requires a 64 bit processor and operating system. OS Windows 10 64 bit required. Processor Intel Core i7 8700 or AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Memory 16 GB RAM. Graphics NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 8GB or AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT 8GB. DirectX version 11. Storage 90GB available space. Additional notes SSD recommended. Capable of 1080p 60fps when graphics are set to ultra. You can also check this link for the system requirements of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Method 2. Restart the game and your PC When you cannot launch Grand Blue Fantasy Relink on PC, restart your computer. If the problem has occurred due to minor bugs and glitches, it can get fixed with a fresh restart. Ctrl plus Shift plus Del to launch Task Manager. Go to the Processes tab and right-click on the game. Select the End Task option to close all the processes related to the game. Now restart your PC. Once your system restarts, try launching the game. Method 3. Launch Grand Blue Fantasy Relink from the Installation folder. Sometimes launching the game from the game launcher can cause the game to crash. So launch the game from the game installation folder. Open Steam and right-click on the game. Go to Properties. Select Installed Files and click on Browse. This should take you to the game installation folder. Try launching the game from here. Method 4. Run Grand Blue Fantasy Relink as an admin. The next thing you can do is run the game as an administrator. The game files may sometimes need administrative privileges to run, else it can crash or freeze. So go to the game installation folder, right-click on the game EXE and open its properties. Head to the Compatibility tab. Check the box for Run this program as an administrator. Click on Apply and then on OK. You can also run Steam as an administrator and then launch the game. To do that, go to the Steam installation folder, right-click on the Steam EXE and open its properties. Head to the Compatibility tab. Check the box for Run this program as an administrator. Click on Apply and then on OK. Now launch the game and check. Method 5. Run Grand Blue Fantasy Relink in different compatibility mode. Another thing you can do is change the compatibility mode while playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. To do that, open the game properties, then go to the compatibility tab. Check the box for Run this program in compatibility mode for Option. Select a Windows version and click on Apply and then on OK. Method 6. Verify the game files. Missing or corrupted game files can also cause issues while playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. So verify the game files. Here is how you can verify the integrity of the game files from Steam platform. Head to the Steam library. Right click on the game and open its properties. Go to the Install Files tab and click on the Verify Integrity of the Game Files option. Wait till Steam verifies the game files and download the missing file or fix the corrupted game files. Once done, launch the game and check.
Method 7. Check the date, time and region on your PC. If the date, time and region on your PC are not correct, then also you can have issues while playing the game. To check that, right click on the date and time at the right corner of the task bar and select adjust date and time. Set the time zone to automatically. Make sure proper time zone is selected. Toggle on the set time automatically option. Click on the region from the top and select the proper region. Once done, try to launch the game and check. Method 8. Press Alt plus Tab to launch the game. The next thing you can do is go to the Steam library and try to launch the game pressing the Alt plus Tab keys. This trick has worked for many users, so you can also give this a try. Method 9. Disable full screen optimization. The next thing you can do is disable full screen optimization. Double click on this PC and go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, right click on the game exe and open its properties. Go to the compatibility tab and disable full screen optimization. Click on apply and then on ok to save the changes. Method 10. Troubleshoot the graphics drivers. You should always keep them updated to avoid issues while gaming. Right click on the Windows search button and choose device manager. Go to the display adapter section and then expand it. Right click on your graphics driver and click on the update driver option. Select the search automatically for drivers option and follow the instructions provided on screen to download and install the latest driver. You should visit the official websites of your graphics card manufacturer to update your graphics card drivers. These websites are linked in the description below. Download the latest drivers for the graphics card installed on your computer from these websites. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver installation process. Once done, restart your system. Then open the app again to check for any updates. If any update is available, download and install them. If you have multiple GPUs for your computer, then make sure you use the one exclusively for gaming. This ensures a better gaming experience. So using the dedicated GPU for gaming can avoid issues while playing games like Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Here is how to check if you are running the dedicated graphics card. Although this depends upon your operating system and your specific graphics card, press Windows key plus R to launch the run utility. Type dev mgmt.msc and press enter. Expand display adapters section in the device manager. Here you will find the two adapters, one for your dedicated graphics card and the integrated graphics card. The dedicated graphics card should have a longer and more specific name than the integrated one. The dedicated graphics card may also have a higher memory size listed. So run Grand Blue Fun Fantasy Relink with the dedicated graphics card. Method 11. Modify the game launch options. To change the launch options of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, right click on the game from Steam. Open Properties. Go to the General tab. Type hyphen DX11 and DX12 in the launch options and try to launch the game. Method 12. Change the in-game settings. You can tweak some in-game settings to get the best out of the game. This can help you if you are running the game on a low-end PC. If you can get into game settings, then try these changes, otherwise skip this method. Launch the game. Select Options. Go to the Graphics tab. Set the resolution to 1280 cross 720. Change the frame rate to 60 if it is set to some lower frame rate. Set the screen mode borderless. Next, set display device to 1S2 24GL600F. Change graphics quality to standard. Set textures to standard. Also, set rendering to standard and lighting to standard. Next, turn the blur off, color blind off, and also turn off V-Sync. Method 13. Delete the save game files. To find the save files of Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, go to this PC. Then go to your drive C. By default, it is saved there. Now open the users folder. Next open the folder with your username. Now open the app data folder. If you cannot find the app data folder, then click on the view tab. Click on show, then check hidden items. Now you should be able to see the app data folder. 
open it. Now go to the local folder. Inside this, you will see the GBFR folder. Open this folder and here you should find the saved folder. Inside the saved game folder, you will find the saved game files. Delete the files and launch the game. But make sure you want to do this as this will delete all your saved game progress. Method 14. Turn off overlay. Turning off overlays can boost gaming performance and fix issues while gaming. In this video, we are showing you how to disable Steam overlay. Open Steam and head to Library. Find Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and right click on it. Expand its properties. From the General tab, uncheck the Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game option. Also, disable other overlay apps like GeForce Experience, Discord, NVIDIA Shadowplay Overlay or AMD Overlay. Method 15. Update Windows Windows updates can help resolve issues with game performance. Also, updating Windows to the latest version ensures your computer runs with the latest security and performance enhancements. Type Check for Updates in the search menu and select the top option. Click on the Check for Updates button. If any update is available, download and install the updates. Restart your PC for that. Now launch the game and see if this could resolve the issue. Method 16. Allow the game through firewall. Another potential cause of this issue could be firewall interference. So you can check that by allowing the game through firewall and your antivirus program. Here, we are showing how to allow the game through Windows Security. Open the Windows Security app using the search menu. Now click on the firewall and network protection option. After that, tap on the allow an app through firewall option from the right side pane and then press the change settings button. Next click on the allow another app button and then press the browse button to select the game exe file. Click on open and then click on the add button. You will now see the game under the list of allowed apps and features. Tick the checkbox associated with the game and enable it on both public and private networks. Once done, you can press the ok button to save changes. Finally, you can relaunch the game file and check if it is loading properly. Method 17. Close other conflicting programs. Resource hogging programs like streaming and downloading can compete for resources and cause issues while playing games like Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. So close unnecessary apps to free up bandwidth for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Right click on the Windows Start button and select Task Manager. Go to the Processes tab and right click on the processes you want to close. Select the End Task option. Repeat the same for each task you want to kill. Then exit the window. Method 18. Disconnect the USB devices. Sometimes the USB devices attached to your PC can also cause gaming issues. So disconnect the peripherals like HOTAs, pedals, mouse, wheel, Razer Tartarus or any additional USB adapter connected to your PC. You should also disconnect any joystick, controller or multiple monitor setup. Method 19. Increase VRAM. Type Advanced System Settings in the Windows Search menu and select the top search result. Under Performance, click Settings. Go to the Advanced tab. Under Virtual Memory, click Change. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Choose the drive where you want to store the paging file. Select Custom Size. In the Initial Size field, enter value equal to 1.5 times of your total available RAM. In the Maximum Size field, enter a value that is 3 times of your total RAM. To check that, open Windows Settings and then from the System tab, select About. Check the RAM. Once you have set the value, click on Set, then OK twice. Then restart your PC. Method 20. Close unnecessary browsers. If you have opened too many browsers tab, then this can also lag the system and cause your game to crash or create issues. So while gaming, close the browsers you do not need. Then launch the game and see if this helps. Method 21. Install the correct version of DirectX. 
Many games, including the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, require a specific version of DirectX to run properly. If you have an outdated or incompatible version, it will cause issues. The latest version of DirectX ensures the game's improved performance. Search DirectX Runtime Download on Google and open the first result from Microsoft.com. Select the installer language you prefer and click on Download. Wait for the download to finish and then run the installer. Complete the installation and wait for the installation to finish. After the installation completes, restart your PC. Method 22. Install Visual C++ Redistributable Installing Visual C++ Redistributable can be helpful while playing Grand Blue Fantasy Relink since it includes a set of libraries that helps the game rely on and function normally. If these libraries are missing or outdated, it leads to loading screen issues. To install Visual C++ Redistributable, search for Visual C++ Redistributable in Google. Click on the first link of Microsoft.com. Download the recently available Visual C++ Redistributable. Ensure you download for the correct architecture like x64 for 64-bit systems and x86 for 32-bit systems. Install the downloaded file and restart your PC. Method 23. Reinstall the game. If the above methods cannot fix the issue, then reinstall Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. To do so, press Windows plus I to open Settings, Open Apps, and then head to Installed Apps. Click on the three-dot menu next to the game. Click on the Uninstall button. Follow as shown to uninstall the game. Once the uninstallation of the game completes, restart your PC. Once your PC restarts, reinstall the game to some other drive. Now launch the game and check. And there you have it. The 23 methods to fix when Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is not working on PC. We hope one of these methods have worked for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Leave a comment and help others know which solution solved your problem. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.